awesome. How unfortunate. <clears throat> and he starts running. That didn't finish him off, so we gotta get in close and do the job ourselves. Alright, so grab that great health potion. My knight will be using those soon. He actually just got level 76, which is pretty sweet. Only 14 levels away from the stonecutter axe. And I gotta do the scrapper arena with him here soon. Uh, I also want to check out my EXP per hour after I finish doing, a, you know, a little bit more here. Oh, I also forgot these two strong health pots. Okay, I was going to be like, really? All strong health potions? Come on. Don't bullshit me. Uh, oh, let's see. Cool. 820k an hour right now. So that's pretty great. That's almost 1kk an hour. And that's pretty respectable. I mean, even at my level, that I really don't mind hunting uh, with that sort of experience. That's very nice. And of course this Fury's back. And I'm sure that the North Fury is back as well then. And I actually just used an avalanche instead of a explosion. So that was a bit of a mistake on my part. Did not mean to do that, but these things happen. And at some point, I end up getting so filled up on terror rods that I have to put them in my main backpack. That's why a lot of the time I will actually bring an extra backpack here strictly for terror rods because I usually end up leaving with well over a backpack of them because I think Furies have a 1 in 5 or 20% chance of dropping them. And while it is only a 2k item, a 20% drop rate can't really be ignored. And we pick him off for the Skull Staff, which is fine with me. A red piece of cloth would have been nicer, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, and the Guardian Shield. So this place is really just loot central and experience central. And that's why I advocate for it so hard, and that's why this place has the most grind fests out of any um, in the grind fest series. And this Fury's back, so the north one is definitely back. But we're going to focus on this one right now, obviously, as she is here. And, you know, you shouldn't go after another lady while your current lady is standing next to you. Just a little advice. Okay. I've done it before. It doesn't end well for you or for the ladies, believe me. All right, so... Sudden death. Just taking out the hellfire. I really should have brought some icicles, but... It's not a big deal. It just means that I spend more, but I end up making more experience and getting through them quicker, so I don't mind that. I'm pretty good on cash right now, and obviously making a decent amount here, so. And that Fury has sighted me. But we're busy picking off Dragonlings, so she's going to have to wait. All right, use some SDs up. And since he's at black, we'll just finish him off. All right, Blazing Bone. That's like the one redeeming feature about Dragonlings is the fact that they drop Blazing Bones, which are worth 610 gold. I know it's at least 600. So that's pretty nice. And we're going to use Explosions as that is going to work out quite well here. It's going to deal a lot of damage to both of them. Avalanches would deal a lot to the DL, but not quite as much to the Fury, so. And since the DL is low, we're going to switch to Avalanches, just to finish him off, and so we can focus on the Fury. Wow. 
I was surprised I didn't it didn't die after uh, that last SD. But all right, let's see if the south one is out. Uh, eh, we'll just SD the DL to bring it down quick. Might as well. It's only two SDs used, and it's fast experience. So. And instead we get a large gang of uh, massive fire elementals, so that's fine. We'll use up some avalanches. Uh, that fury is back, so this is a little uncomfortable, but really not that bad since they were already at pretty low health. And it's still some nice extra experience, so can't really complain. Alright, another pair of rusty legs. Unfortunately, this is going to be the second to last pair I actually get to do. And I actually got like 3k legs off of rusty legs last time I was here, and that's always nice. Uh, we'll check out if these guys actually had anything. Looks like they kind of crapped out when it came to loot, but not too big of a surprise. And bringing down the imp with SDs. And there's a hellfire. And we get off a pretty nice... Okay, sorry, I had to concentrate there for a sec. We get off a pretty nice E-wave, dealing decent amount of damage to the hellfire and to the imp. And I actually just lagged in front of the Hellfire there. That was while he did a pretty good amount of melee damage. I was actually a little bit nervous right there. And we get another Wand of Inferno. And the backpack is starting to get a little short on space. Just a little bit. So I'm guessing the other Furies are respawned, so we're going to stop messing around with these guys after we take out this Infernalist and go focus on them. As after all, we can hunt any of these other creatures anytime. can only hunt Furies when the Fury Gate is open. <laughs> Although, there is a lot of Infernalists here. I would almost say eh, this is probably the best spot for Infernalists, too. And this Fury is back. Uh, not a big surprise to really anyone, I'm sure. It's been a while since we went up there. And this is a pretty comfy position with the Fury to the side and the Dragonling taking good amount of damage. So Fury goes down and we can go pursue that weakened Dragonling. Or we could if we didn't have to deal with the Hellfire Fighter. I was wondering when he was going to come back. Oh. Yeah, so I'm trying to make this video at least... Uh, hopefully three parts long. Maybe even four. We'll see uh, how much stamina I have here. And not stamina in-game, but stamina in... RL. <laughs> Alright. And the other Dragonling is up there. So hopefully we can push this one back as well. And that works out just fine. And he goes down. So we get to move on to our three Furies. And of course, there's number one, rear indigo. So I want to count how many SDs it takes. Three, four, and five. Yeah, five plus a vis. So that's really not bad. I'm going to keep on checking that out. Plate legs, of course, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, and there's the DLs. And since I'm trying to be kind of conscious of my mana usage, I'm pretty much just going to be using runes. Uh, 
and unfortunately it looks like I've pulled a massive fire elemental but with the situation I'm in right here it's not really too big of a deal just to use some avalanches uh, finish off the dragonling and do damage to him and we get a wand of inferno from him so that's two wand of infernos out of massive fire elementals and one out of a hellfire fighter and hellfires do have a, a better drop rate but there's less of them so it makes sense all right and it looks like the imp wants to come play while we are about to go attack the other fury but and we take him out and he's, he dropped a demonic essence and a concentrated demonic blood so hopefully I remember to loot him on my way but since I'm already right here I'm gonna focus on the fury and that's two three four and of course terror rod demonic essence pretty typical fury loot And I didn't want him to heal, so I was just working to drop him as quick as possible. And unfortunately, that does mean using a little bit of extra mana, but that's fine with me. And this Fury's back, so the North Fury is back, I'm sure. And I don't know where the South Fury is. She's probably straight south of where I am now. Uh, sometimes she'll try to like loop around down here and that'll make her move from her normal spawn point. And we just get hit for six uh, from the throwing star of the Fury, which is pretty funny. Get off screen for six. Now that's discerning. And steel boots, cool. So finally we get something nice. And it looks like Topher was only on for a sec. But we get to put the steel boots up next to the Noble Axe. So that's always nice. And to 600 SDs, and I came here with 950. So... And I hit Vita on accident. That was a big waste of mana, but that's all right. Uh, if need be, I'll just pop on Ring of Healings toward the end to stretch out the hunt a little bit longer. And I could go down and clear that floor of Furies and Infernalist and whatnot. And I might actually... Uh, yeah, I'll pop down there and take a bunch of them out. I brought energy walls and I haven't really used many, so might as well. And there's Fury number one. And I'm just going to leave that open for now. Uh, that's not the safest thing to do if you are a little bit of a lower level sorcerer hunting here, or druid. I wouldn't suggest that because uh, that can be a little bit dangerous, but if you want to be a little crazy and take a little bit of a risk, then hey, that's up to you. And really surprised I did not get any Furies on me there. Uh, they just must be chilling in the background. And he breaks through the energy wall, which unfortunately defeats the purpose there of it, but... He goes down pretty smooth, pretty easily, so, all right, all right, there's one of our girls. Uh, of course, when you do see them, they come flying at you, 
Ooh, 821. That was a nice SD. Uh, backed by another nice SD. And use that strong mana pot. And uh, we'll see how much. Okay, an hour and 35 minutes are left on one of my pairs of soft, so. Alright, there's another one. Yeah, I really like this downstairs area because it's just about strictly Furies other than the three Infernalists and the uh, single Hellfire. And I think that helps ramp up experience. So it looks like most of the Furies are hanging back with the Infernalists. And after I kill this Infernalist, I'm actually going to pop up and kill whatever has spawned around the stairs just to be safe and why not okay okay so that fury is not back and there's two furies right there backed up a little bit just so that I didn't pull both of them and taking them out pretty easily of course we just get a soul orb which if I was a paladin that'd be cool but since I'm not I don't really care and I've seen you guys asking when am I gonna do more paladin videos um, whenever I get the urge to play my paladin, which, gonna be honest with you, is not too often. I don't really like playing my paladin right now, just because I have a lot more fun on my sorcerer, and I even have more, f I even have fun, more fun than I do on my paladin on my lower level knight. And I don't know why this is, but it is what it is. And until my night starts to get a little more boring, which will probably happen around, I don't know, a little after level 100, I'm guessing, when things really start to slow down, uh, it's going to be a bit until I play my Paladin a lot. But once I do, I'll be alternating between very Dravius and Adranus pretty, healthy, pretty healthily, I'm sure. And two dragonlings, of course, from the north spawn. So just healing up, dropping explosions. And of course, this dragonling is trying to get out, but he has no such luck. Pick him off with an SD. See, that's where I wouldn't mind having icicles as much because that dragonling was at such low health that if I picked him off with an icicle there, it would have done the exact same thing for me and I would have saved 60 gold or so. Yeah, around 60 gold. And the fury goes down. Tons of concentrated demonic bloods. Looks like we're getting a lot of strong health potions this round. Yeah, 24 so far. Wow. Okay, and the north one is respawned, so... Uh, she did not waste any time letting us know that. Of course, Furies rarely waste time. They're super quick. Uh, Soul Orb, nothing too special. And it... Looks like we're gonna uh, cool. So I pick off that imp with a great energy beam as he's trying to run. Um, of course, imps get incredibly fast too, and that's why I will pick them off with that attack sometimes just because they do heal a lot as well, and I don't like having to use SDs over and over and over on the same creature if I've already gotten it to red a bunch of times, you know. Mm. 
Okay, Dragon Lords. Yeah, by now this should seem pretty run of the mill. But it's going rather nicely, and I've broken 305 million experience now, so that's nice. It's my first time doing that, and of course it is on cam, so that's always cool. And I saw Red Dragon Scale, and I got all excited and thought Dragon Scale Mill, but no, that's not the not the case. Just actually a bunch of small stuff, which, hey, that's cool. That's a lot better than what most Dragon Lords drop, so... I'll take it. Oh. And we're about halfway on the SDs. Small amethysts. I wonder how many small amethysts we have so far. And let's see. Yeah, this BP is almost full, so we're going to have to start throwing the terror rods up. Uh, no red pieces of cloth yet, surprisingly. Got a noble axe before a red piece of cloth. So, but that's fine. Better that than nothing. 816, very nice SD. Heavy damage. Another three small amethysts. And I'm guessing the Fury to the West here is probably back. Okay, looks like not quite yet. But there's an Infernalist over here. So I Avalanche just to take out his minion and deal a little bit of damage to him. If you guys have seen my Demona video, you'll see that I do that pretty often to conserve SDs and get a little extra damage out. And then I also don't have to heal quite as much. Uh, because I'm not taking as much damage. And Skull Staff, so that's cool. And we're going to throw a bunch of the Terror Rods into my main BP. Simply because they drop them so often and they're taking up so much space. And that Stone Skin Amulet actually isn't from this hunt, so I'm going to throw that up there as two. And that is our third Skull Staff. So, hey, that's cool. And hopefully this Fury will be... Okay, cool, it's back. I was going to say, I figured it would be back pretty shortly. Um, they usually don't take that long. And I don't want to be in front of either of them right now. Uh, that's very threatening. And 85 gold. But now that that fury is down, uh, I feel comfortable going down here. And I'm going to set up an E wall and just go to the north here. Where I can comfortably focus on the Hellfire Fighter. And I like staying next to him up here because there's not really much room for me to run without luring Furies on me. And I have a decent amount of control over where he's beaming that way as well. Okay. So there's a Fury. And I should be clearing this room really often. But I don't clear it quite as much as I should because a lot of my deaths have been from getting too focused on this room and not popping back up to make sure that the hole isn't a complete mess for when I'm ready to leave. Because, I've, I've like I said, I've seen two Furies up there and a bunch of other things. So, really not too great. And hold on, I gotta move my mouse. It's being a little funky. All right, there we go. And don't want to go in too quick. Don't want to lure everything on us, but get the third fury. And I think there's like six furies down here. If any of you guys were actually like keeping track or counting, uh, I'm sure you know, but. I'm usually a little too focused on hunting, plus 